Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. Uh, in this section what we're going to do is teach you a little bit about the help menu because what you're going to find is that even though you go through this tutorial I'm going to teach you the most important things to get started. Uh, there's going to come a time when when something you need to do is not covered by something that I've talked about and you'll need to know how to go off and get help. So I want to show you that right now. So there's two main really really great things MATLAB has. The first is this nice help menu. There's lots of things in here but just go to product help which is the first entry or F1 and you'll see that there's a, a large window that pops up and really this is kind of a treasure trove of of the many 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 things that MATLAB can do. Now I'm gonna warn you it's very detailed and it's very extensive so it's not sort of like an easy quick start guide that's sort of the purpose of the videos this is more of an extensive help that, that you would go to if you just really needed some in-depth help on something. For instance, if you're doing something really detailed way in the future and, and you're interested in object-oriented uh, programming, you could drill down here into objects and classes and learn all about uh, how, to, how to determine and how to classify an object. And it will give you sort of some example syntax and sort of some, some general ideas of how it works. Now, by the time you get into these more complicated things, you'll understand what what MATLAB is telling you here and usually they'll give you some simple example uh, examples here now that's sort of like a complicated thing you can obviously uh, drill down into the help as far as just sort of browsing but usually when you come in here you're trying to search for something so let's say uh, that you needed to plot something and you've sort of forgotten exactly how to do it so that's a very common thing so you might go into plot you type plot in here and before you, uh, actually hitting enter it'll give you lots of suggestions you know uh, lots of different things down here let's just go right now for the basic plot so we'll go ahead and click that and it's got sort of again some relevant results on the left one of them is highlighted and on the right we've got the function plot and it says it's a 2d line plot and it gives us some syntax for some various different cases you can use the plot command in, in many different circumstances and it gives you a description uh, and if you scroll down here, usually it'll give you an example, and that's what we have here. So what it's got going on here is it's defining x in terms of negative pi to pi, uh, and then in increments of 0 0.1, and then it defines the y values as the sine of x, and then you plot x and y together. Now, you can actually copy these things out, right-click, hit copy, go to your MATLAB window, and you can just paste these things right out of the help browser here. This is exactly what we did and it'll uh, basically uh, recalculate the result you know so that's that's really handy so let's go back here real quick let's go back to plot and let's go to a little bit more of a complicated example that was pretty simple I actually showed you something very similar to that in a previous video here's a, a more complicated looking graph you know it's got these big squares dotted lines and everything else so I'm gonna right click hit copy go in here and hit paste and hit the enter key up comes the plot window and here's what we have now notice what we've got going on here is a, is a very you know it's very similar we define x in terms of negative pi to, to positive pi in increments of pi over 10 we define the y values as this is a function it's the tangent of the sine of x minus the sine of the tangent of x so this is just defining the y values for each corresponding x value and then we plot x comma y everything else in purple is just changing what this graph looks like so before it was a nice smooth black line now it's a red line the line width is different it's dashed and the points are giant green squares that's really what's going on with all of these things uh, in purple here and that's what you'll find in MATLAB is a lot of times you'll need to, to pass it these extra uh, information in the function to get the the plot to look the way you want it to look but that's a, a quick way to use the function uh, the help browser here let me show you a couple other things here let me clear the screen CLC uh, if you notice to the left of your double prompt, you see F, uh, FX here. This means function. So when you click it, this brings up the function browser. This is sort of like a condensed help just to pull up functions. You know, because the real help has all kinds of other information. This is basically all the functions here. So if I want to type in, you know, standard deviation. All right, and it searches everything in, in the functions that we have. STD apparently calculates the standard deviation. I hover the mouse over it, and it tells me it's a standard deviation. Where x is a vector, it returns a standard deviation using the function above. So STD should return the standard deviation. So let's go and just quickly define a, a vector. You'll learn in, that vectors in, 
in MATLAB, anytime they talk about vector, it just means a list of numbers. And we've been doing that before, actually, so we'll get into all this stuff in more detail later, but let's just calculate, let's just do a simple vector, 0, colon, 10. That just means I'm going to uh, make a list of numbers from 0 to 10. And you can see when I hit enter, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 10, when you enclose them in brackets, the first number, colon, last number, that just gives you the endpoints and it increments it by one and so this is my vector x so I should be able to type in STD of x it's going to calculate the standard deviation of this list of numbers the standard deviation is 3.166 and I can actually also what if I want to calculate the mean let me type in the mean okay here's a mean I just hover my mouse over it, it says mean returns the mean values of the elements of an array so I can actually double click this function in the help browser that's going to put mean up on the stack here in the command window mean of x, hit enter, the mean is 5. So I've quickly defined a list of numbers, I've calculated the standard deviation, I've calculated the mean. The help uh, browser is a good way you can get that information in here. If you really know what you're drilling down for, you can go into the function browser in here, and let's say you know, you know a function but you don't want to do either one of those, you can actually type in help std right into the command window, and it will tell you exactly what's in the help, uh, it returns a standard deviation and so on. So you could type in help uh, mean and then it'll put it right here in the, in the command window. The downside of this is it kind of clutters up your command window and there's really no way to really erase this. You can highlight it and try to delete it. It won't really work. So really what I prefer to do is use the help browser or the function browser which is right here next to your command prompt. So that's how to use help in MATLAB. Just take a few minutes to to get to understand how how it works. If you have no idea what you're doing and you're just kind of browsing around, go to the help browser. You can usually find what you're looking for. If you have some idea then you might want to and you know it's a function, you might want to just go into the um, the function browser which we showed you there. Uh, you can do you can get to the function browser. Uh, just by clicking right to the left of the command prompt here and then you can go in and, and, and sort of get a quick condensed help here usually there's not too many examples in this version of the help but it tells you what it is you can double click it put it in the command window and then use that function accordingly